Enoch Magazine, 2010 Kansas City Warp Tour. As guys that have toured a lot and been to a lot of cities, I'm sure you see a lot of the homeless. Yeah. Just everywhere. What are some experiences you guys have had with the homeless? Well, they always... Um, Josh is kind of homeless. <laughs> our, we, yeah, we, we, we've had our ups and downs uh, being musicians, obviously. You know, a lot of the clubs are often in areas where, you know, people don't want to hear the noise. And so we have a lot of those experiences. And, you know, one time I... Uh, had a guy asking me for a couple of dollars, and, and I was like, ah, you know, I, I kind of, you know, I didn't have it. I, I was I was much younger. I didn't have a lot. He said, give me two dollars. He's like, no matter how much you give me, I'll never be where you're at. <laughs> and uh, and you know, with some people, that's you know true. I mean, you can you can teach some people and and get them work and all that. And then some people you see, you're like. You know, man, all we can do is help them because they're not going to go back to school and yeah. get that all together. We live you know, in our van, so we don't have like, we don't close the door at the end of the night and the outside <laughs> world is there. We're, we're, we have them knocking on our home. Yeah. Hey, uh, you know, and, and, you know, so sometimes there's no escape from the world where we're at. What's been interesting to me working on Skid Row is a lot of the people claim Jesus and they're and they're at the lowest point of their life and they you know they claim to have found God and religion I think that's really interesting what is you guys perception of Jesus well uh, both of us grew up uh, you know going to church um, it's uh, it's uh, you know it's not it's not something we really bring into the music so much um, but we both have kids and yeah. you know explain to them uh, Right you know, wrong and wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think the message of positivity yeah. is something that that you know that we we spread. But you know, like I I kind of look at it through um, the uh, you know I try to you know my message is like be nice to each other, be nice to people, and I don't I, I sometimes don't always get that from uh, people who are who are saying they follow Jesus it's like yeah. it's not always you know yeah, so I, very true <laughs> very true so yeah I mean yeah. I'm in the uh, still figuring at it out phase of my life um, to be honest with you but um, yeah I don't you know it's, it's hard to uh, sum it up in a you know it's a deep it's deep you sure know? Yeah. you guys both said you have kids what is you know being fathers look like and being in a band and being on the road it's it's crazy. I mean, the only way I can rationalize as far as like being away and like I mean, it's a it's our family business. I mean, we um, I've been doing it since before I had them, and, and we you know my our our uh, you know the mothers and it had to obviously bear a lot of that. Yeah. Um, but um, but at the same time, like both of us have uh, you know a lot of guys work till 7 and their kids go to bed at 7 30 or 8 you know when I get home I'm lucky enough to you know hey what do you guys want to do today for you know two weeks straight yeah, I mean yeah month. no matter what yeah <laughs> yeah right a good way to look at yeah. it. I mean honestly yeah. like I've taken my I can't kids. remember a month I ever spent with my dad you know what I mean so, right yeah it's it's um, you know because they always had to be working yeah. you know so it's 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 a di it's different and and it's it's uh, but uh, I mean both our kids I've met Andy's kids a million times they're happy kids man you know all of them and and that's what we because they see that we're doing something we love and you can be an example that way you know? how old are your kids well, mine are getting older so they really understand it a lot more my twins are seventeen and oh, wow. my, my youngest is thirteen they're all oh, girls. Okay. His are a little younger, yeah, so they're still eight, out the battle eight and a little under, bit. So, okay. Yeah. So, but yeah, man, uh, they're they're all like happy kids, and and I, you know, your kids see when you're stressed out. You know, I I, I heard a thing recently that um, 
parent, you know, kids don't necessarily want to spend more and more time with you. They just want to make sure that when you do, that you're not like looking at your cell phone every five minutes or mad or upset about something. They want you to be, you know, here now, which yeah. is kind of goes back to what. And they know that kids yeah. kids know that they're oh, yeah. really receptive. Oh, receptive. They're really, receptive. They're really receptive. Really little sponges. Oh, they'll say to me, uh, you know, my six-year-old, why are you always on your phone? I'm like, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go out in the yard, and I'll turn the phone off. You know, what, what can you, we were, we're all guilty of it. <laughs> Very true. We live in that society. <laughs> I would just say, like, as far as our band, like, what we're trying to get out to people is to come see us live. You know, we're, we're dudes who've been playing live since we were little kids, and um, you're not going to see a band doing exactly, like, what we're doing the way we do it and and uh, although I'm 100% proud of our record like the live shows where it's at and speaking of that the, the record does come out August 31st so it'll, it'll be everywhere so. Universal Motown that's right cool I